there. So what do you do after graduating from Harvard with an undergraduate degree in chemistry and a PhD in public health? That's been such a dilemma for me. What to do after that? <laughs> no, it's not me. What you do is you pen a best-selling debut novel that's being turned into a feature film, of course. Waiki Wang's novel, Chemistry, has received rave reviews from everybody from the Washington Post to Oprah. It's won a handful of book awards as well. Please welcome Waiki Wang. It's so good to meet you. Thank you very much for coming in. So um, you, you've got this crazy great education in science. Right. Were you interested in writing the whole way? Writing was always a hobby of mine. When I, in, in, in high school, I did a lot of writing. And then in college, I took a lot of writing classes. Um, and it became um, what it is now very, very slowly. But I don't think it was ever something that I went into thinking, oh, I'm going to get a full-time job right. as a writer. Well, I mean, you've got a PhD mm -hmm. in science. You've, you've put yeah. all this time in, and not just any place, but, you know, this little school they called Harvard. <laughs> um, and then and then you come up with this story, and it turns out to be just a magnificent book. I really enjoyed it. It made Thank me you. nervous in places. <laughs> it is... It is um, you know, it is a book that makes you care about the main character right, so much. Right. Tell me about the main character. So the main character, it's an unnamed main character. Um, and I gave her a name in my head, but go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, so she's in this very intense chemistry grad program. I didn't do a grad program in chemistry, but I had experienced a lot of these stories um, as an undergrad. And she decides halfway through that she's just going to quit this program. Because it is brutally it's demanding. Brutal. It's brutally demanding. And it comes at a time when her significant other, her um, boyfriend, has asked her to marry him. And so she's really at this crossroads where she feels pretty much like a complete failure in the middle of the novel, right? Because she's losing potentially all of her life and she's not really in school anymore. It's She can't make herself commit to the boyfriend, right. even though there's nothing wrong with him. Nothing when she wrong. adds up the right. pros and cons, she only has <laughs> pros, but she still can't do it. But then on top of that, uh, her culture, her family, mm -hmm. put an incredible amount of pressure on mm -hmm. her. Um, tell me a bit about how that plays out in the book and, and why you chose that as part of the environment for mm. your character. So I wanted her in a high, in high, tensi high intensity environment and that's what, what the grad program was. It's kind of a, I, I sort of wanted this moment for her to be a really bad two years where everything has exploded essentially. And her quitting the program leads to um, a divide between her and her parents, her and her family. Um, I just don't think any parent is that happy when, you're, when your child you know, quits a prestigious program. <laughs> Probably right? not. Regardless Probably not. of um, race or immigrant status. Um, and the, the folding in of the background, um, you know, I'm an immigrant, I came here um, when I was 12, um, and you know, my, my, my background is you know, Chinese American, so that really weaved into the story. And I wanted it to, when I write, wrote the story, I wanted to write um, a fresh coming of age novel story. I wanted to weave in a little bit of science, a little bit of culture, so that yeah. when the reader reads it, they can actually learn something that's interesting and fun, but also um, somewhat poignant for this narrator. It definitely poignant. I did learn that mitochondrial DNA just comes from the mom. Didn't know that. It's true. So there was it is, new it science in there. <laughs> that was kind of cool. There's, there's. I can't remember what our main character, who in my mind was named mm -hmm. Angela, has told her mother. But Angela. Uh, Angela was her name for me. Um, when she is that okay? I mean, just That's in fine. my head. That's we fine. don't have to refer to her any place else. <laughs> but she tells her mom something her mom doesn't want to hear. Her mom says something kind of unfriendly about it, and then just starts banging the phone yeah. on the yeah. on the cabinet. And Angela puts it on speakerphone so her boyfriend can yeah. see this is what I'm dealing with. Yeah. And at that point, I want to go find this girl and give her a hug. And yeah. Help her. So, um, but things progress mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. things progress and you feel mm -hmm. very invested in this right. woman which I think is a brilliant right. thing for an author to be able to accomplish this is going to be made into a feature film now yes and it's you know your first book so kind of it's a big deal um, how much input will you have into the movie script or casting mm. so um, the option happened over the summer last summer um, and I actually had a really good conversation with the screenwriter. Um, we talked on the phone. Um, she connected well with the book. She actually started crying the whole entire time oh. on the phone. Um, and th that, I felt bad, but then I was very touched that <laughs> that's what happened. Um, 
she's sometimes in New York, so we might grab coffee. I think with the screenwriting, I sort of want to have her interpret the book how she will interpret it, mm -hmm. and then we have conversations. And it's the idea of you know dialogue between artists, right? So if I create something and she can create something based on this, but maybe put her own spin on it, mm -hmm. that would be ideal for me in terms of watching how this work can evolve. Do you have a casting choice? No, not really. Not but, really? But, but I think because one of, <laughs> this is embarrassing, one of my favorite actors is Hugh Jackman. I was like, we could just put him in there somehow. <laughs> Maybe you know, he could be a professor. He could be. He could do anything. He, yeah, he can. I don't. I don't know if he can be our main character, no, I know. but I think I he know. can be in there. Thank you so very much. Thank You're working you. on another book. When yes. will we see that? Uh, probably in a couple years. The Co book is. Gonna... No pressure. Yeah. Believe me, I'm not going to put any pressure on you. <laughs> Wifey will discuss and sign copies of Chemistry Tonight at seven at Elliott Bay Book Company in Seattle. Full details are on our website. You will enjoy this book. Up next, practical self-defense moves to help you get away from a potential attacker. Wow! Back